Well, you know, growing up in Orlando, I always um, was involved in sports. You know, um, I was a member of the Boys and Girls Club. So at a young age, you know, I was there every day playing different sports, baseball, football, basketball. It came a time where I just had to choose a sport. You know, I just chose basketball. Um, I kind of stuck with it. You know, I got a lot of motivation from people in my neighborhood, you know, people in my community, my mom, my dad, my cousins, you know, they all pushed me, you know, to just worry about basketball and worry about anything that's going on in the neighborhood, and worry about anything that's going on at home. Just worry about playing basketball. He'll fire the shot and got it. Matt Williams needing a three. I wanted for my family to be able to see me play. Um, me and my dad are very close, so I wanted to make sure my dad, you know, was able to see me play. Um, even with his rigorous work schedule, he works like three jobs. So I wanted to make sure that even while him working, you know what I'm saying, he still is close to me. We still can have a good relationship and that he still can be able to come and watch me play. Not only is he a good basketball player, but he is a great person off the court. Like I said, um, he's a great teammate. You know, every time I'm down, you know, he always come up to me like, hey man, you good. Like, let's stay positive. You know, let's go get this next rebound. Let's go block this shot. Let's get another dunk, man. Let's get you going. You know, like he's just a great teammate. He's a great leader, man. You know, he just always talking positive. And um, when you have a guy like that on your team, you know, that, that's just nothing but but, um, but momentum and, um, and positivity coming from a great player like that. You lead in a lot of different ways, and uh, one of the ways he leads through his work ethic. You know, he's, not, he's a man of few words, but, but I admire that because usually when he has something to say, it's something that has a lot of substance to it. And so, and when he does have something to say, you better be sure everyone on the team listens. Well, my role on the team is, is you know, just to be um, a leader. Um, um, I've been working on, you know, leading more so with words, you know, I lead more by example. But I've been working, you know, the coaches have been challenging me all year just to speak up, you know, use my voice. That's something I've really been working on, but more so I'm a lead by example guy. Well, UCF got to get something going right now. Matt Williams with a long three from about 30 feet out. That helps. He's got 11. Wow. You just can't teach that. I met Matt pretty much as soon as I took the job, you know. <laughs> Uh, he's a great young man. You know, I heard you know a lot of good things about him from people around the, the athletic department, and uh, he requested a meeting with me. And you know, I'm not sure what he's going to discuss. And uh, you know, the first thing he t you know starts to talk to me about is you know, he was wanting to transfer. And I'm looking at him, going, "Wow, I just got here, and you don't know me very well yet. Maybe you want to take some time to get to know me and my staff before you make a decision like that." Me and Coach Dawkins, we had many meetings. You know, um, he talked to me like a man, man to man. You know, he kept it real with me. You know, he told me that um, to stay here, you know what I'm saying, he felt it would be the best decision for me. And um, I kind of took some time and thought about it. And so, of course, I honored his wishes and let him explore, you know, other opportunities, and as he did. And uh, he ended up committing him elsewhere, committed. And so, you know, he hung around the gym all the time because he loves to get better and work on his game. He saw us in the office all day, all night, saw us how we worked, saw our re you know, relating to the players that were remaining. and. I think, you know, as he started to see that, he started to realize that, you know, we never wavered, you know, he, he always had access to the facility so he can continue to train and work out with our guys. So he, he didn't see us change, you know, in that one moment from the coaching staff that he had just requested his release from. So I think he really admired that, that we stayed the same. And he gave us an opportunity. He came back to me one day and said, Coach, you know, I think I may have made a mistake. And, uh, you know, I would like to you know, recommit and, uh, you know, I want to play for you. And I still think to this day that may have been my best recruiting job this year. Coach Dawkins is a good guy, you know, he's a good coach. You know, he wants best for me and he wants best for everybody. I mean, something he stressed, he stressed about, he kept talking about togetherness and the team and things like that. So that lets you know that, you know what I'm saying? He, he cares more, more about what happens collectively than individually. He just felt I can be a big part of what we can do together. That's my brother for life, regardless of the decision he made. And I was extremely excited when he decided to come back just to have my brother back on the team. I mean, me and him have a great relationship since I've been, since I was in high school at Boone, me and him have been tight. I mean, that, that's that's really like my brother. I mean, we're, everybody on this team is family, but I mean, me and Matt have a different relationship and I was just really excited to have him come back this season. And I knew that if we could get out there on the court together, we could do some special things with me and him as a one-two punch just because we never played together. Uh, my first year he was hurt, last year I was hurt. So I knew this year we could do something special with me and him out there on the floor, just giving him, you know, the opportunity to show what he could do because that's all he's, he's ever needed was the opportunity. I mean, he's taking full advantage of it. He's been a terrific leader for us, and and, and like I said, everyone has to lead in in their way. And uh, but what he provides for us is, is is a great deal of toughness. He provides a great deal of passion for our game. Like I said, it's no harder worker 
than Matt. You know, he's one of the best shooters in the nation, and I still think he probably takes the most shots on his days off than anyone else. So that shows not only is he really good at what he does, but he's always still trying to get better.